If you're planning to head out to the polls today to cast your vote, we have all the latest you need to know. Local 5's Dana Searles is live outside the Polk County Auditor's Office for us this midday. Dana, what are you seeing out there right now? Well, Megan, it's a bit of a different story today from when you were out here yesterday. Yesterday, this line was wrapped all the way around the building about a half a mile. Today, a bit of a different story, but nonetheless, that revolving door is still consistent going into this election office behind me. That door really hasn't stopped opening and closing. It has picked up a bit as we've gotten into the lunch hour. People are still coming out to make their voices heard. Uh, if you're like me and showed up planning to wait in line for two hours to vote, you don't have to worry about that today. It doesn't look like at least now looks like it's a pretty good time to hit the polls. But a message these campaigns have been trying to send uh, throughout this entire campaign right here in Iowa has just been your voice matters and every single vote matters. That seems to be really resonating with Iowans, especially with those close congressional district races. And now the recent Iowa polls showing Kamala Harris having a little bit of momentum. The early voting numbers seem to be pretty steady. I know, Megan, you'll be breaking those down here in a little bit. Those polls will be open until 8 p.m. tonight. You can find your polling location on the Iowa Secretary of State's website and Local 5 will have you covered all night. Now later in the show, I'll break down if you are headed to the polls, what you need to bring and what you need to expect when you are going to show up. But for now, I'm live in Des Moines. Dana Searles, Local 5 News. Dana, thank you all. Very important information there. Well, Iowa's top election official is also taking note of these long lines that Dana just mentioned. We saw this just yesterday, and this pretty much was the scene the entire day. Secretary of State Paul Pate says that both parties have urged people to get out and vote early, which has been driving up voter enthusiasm. Last week, Pate asserted his confidence in Iowa's election integrity. Officials pre-tested all equipment ahead of today, and post-election audits will be done as well. Now, polls here in Iowa close at 8 p.m. and absentee ballots must be returned by that time in order to count. And as results start to trickle in, Pate is asking for voters to remain patient. Oh, well, I've got a lot of confidence. Our uh, auditors and our volunteer poll workers have been putting a lot of effort in, so I don't think it's going to be a late night. But we're not here to have a race to get the numbers out. We want accuracy. So I ask folks to be a little patient. Well, millions of Americans have already cast their vote through early voting, as we've been mentioning, and both parties, like Dana said, making a big push for early voting this election. The numbers here in Iowa indicate pretty solid turnout. About 675,000 Iowans have turned in their ballots as of 7 a.m. this morning. That's more than 25 percent of the state's voting age population per the Secretary of State's office. 88,000 of those were here in Polk County, nearly 26,000 in Dallas County, and then just under 18,000 in Storm. County. Now it's unlikely Iowa will see record of early voting turnout as it did in 2020, but we did want to break down some of these numbers because what we're seeing right now as of um, again as of 7 a.m. this morning, the percentage of early voters 37.9% of Democrats and 39.5% of Republicans. So Republicans are currently leading the way for those early votes. Now, some election reminders for all of those voters who have yet to cast their ballot. The polls are now open and will remain open until 8 p.m. If you can't make it until late, do not get out of line because if the polls close while you are still in line, you do have the right to stay in line and vote. And today, DART is giving free routes to your polling place so you can make your voices heard. Cindy Gray has been living in Des Moines close to 40 years. She spoke to Local 5 this morning before making her way to the polls about the importance of voting this election cycle. This is going to be a historical election. We got a, a really good chance of having first female president which is going to be better than what we've had mm -hmm. in the past. 